All right, so wanted to uh, show you some of the weather wars that we're dealing with right now. We've got Hurricane Michael uh, bearing down on uh, Florida and coming up the coast here. I'm gonna step outside for a minute. So what I wanted to uh, do here is just simply show you a little bit of what this is like uh, right now. I needed to uh, step on inside so I could get out of the wind a bit. Uh, weather wars is uh, actual reality that's going on in our world today. There's actually the modification of weather, the steering and affecting of storms, intensifying and all that. I have a a web page on my Facebook that's called Weather Wars and you can see that if you care to. I've got a few videos that I've highlighted as um, a way of exposing the truth of that and now I'm gonna head on over to the Cherry Grove Pier. What was so interesting about this location is actually I can see the water higher than where I was where the camera view was. And uh, the intensity of the wind is picking up quite a bit. We've probably got at least um, 35 to 40 mile an hour winds right now. This is in Cherry Grove, South Carolina. You can actually go to the Prince Resort in Cherry Grove on the, um, on the internet and see a variety of live cameras from there. It looks like we will probably have the road closed off up here. Yeah, that's what I'm noticing. So I'm gonna see about a work around that, some type of emergency up there. Uh, Cherry Grove is a very low lying area and you can uh, look at that if you care to, some of the history of this area. A lot of the houses are elevated onto, um, oh wow, yeah, I'm not going to be able to go right down in the view right there. In the middle of the view, I could see cars plowing through the, the water on the street I would normally go on, Lake Street. won't be able to go that way now. So the, the water seeks its level, covers the face of the earth. Right now I'm looking at a detour that's happening because water is evidently coming over the road or about to in Cherry Grove here. And I'll take us around to a few locations so you can see what that's like. Um, yeah, they've got it blocked off over, over that way. So the, the water has saturated the ground around this area quite a bit. We're looking at that in the, uh, because of the uh, Waccamaw River flooded over after Hurricane Florence, which again was a manipulated uh, weather system. So I'm not exactly sure why they've got the uh, road closed here, but I'll just take us down by the pier and see what I can show you. So what, what is very eerie looking is I can see through the, um, through the buildings that the water level is actually appear, apparently higher than I am right here should be able to show you that up at the pier. So this is the uh, Prince Resort right here. They've got uh, several cameras that you can 
activate from your remote location to see what this looks like where you are. Wow. It's big. I was thinking by the look of it earlier today and my earlier broadcast that they would very likely shut down the pier uh, because it certainly looked as though it would be hitting the underside of the pier. Oh, there's some people out on there yet. Yeah, it's way too windy to be out in the wind there. Um, I tried uh, something a little bit different. I'll do that again. Is um, opening up the sunroof there. surge is that the the water is uh, is pushed inland higher up they were expecting um, between a one to three foot increase in the height of the tide we have a high tide that's scheduled to arrive here at 9 or 10 30 which is about a half an hour from now yeah the um, I'll, I'll zoom in a bit closer to show you this the uh, waves are hitting underneath the structure of the pier, which is devastating. Enough of that and it'll just take the pier right out, depending on how high that hits. The water does not compress. You can't compress water. And there's a lot of weight that goes along with the, the water force behind it. Uh, two feet of uh, water, moving water, will wash a car away. Take it right off the road, typically. So uh, there are really heavy weight vehicles uh, with high uh, ground clearance, big tires that can handle more of that. But a, a typical passenger car will get swept away pretty pretty quickly. <laughs> So what I talked about this morning, once again, uh, for those of you who are seeing me up on uh, with my new icon of my Facebook profile picture is actually the YouTube logo. And uh, the name of my channel is now Truth. And that's my work around my activity on uh, Facebook and the social media platforms that I'm participating on. It, it was a change, it was really interesting. At the, um, at the Skyfall conference, I ended up giving my shirt away, one of my shirts to Nathan Thompson. It was kind of interesting. I didn't know at the time I was going to change the name of my channel, rendering that, that uh, name virtually obsolete. Uh, the shirt obsolete. Yeah, just as I suspected, it's it's coming up. It's coming up, and uh, I'll probably have to get out of the parking lot here in a little bit. The power of the water is absolutely devastating, and uh, so we saw, or I saw on the Weather Channel where they showed a. A train that was uh, knocked over by who knows how high the winds were at that time. It was funny, Jim Cantori and St Stephanie Abrams were talking about the, she said the sun comes up in the east, right? <laughs> well, yeah, depends on what time of the year. Um, this pier right here faces directly south, and today the sun came up over here, southeast. So the, the sun and the moon and stars move, of course, above the face of the earth. So in the summer, the sun came up way over there. There's quite a variance 
at this location. I trust quite possibly where you are as well. That's part of the dynamic. Um, we live on a stationary earth. The wind and the, and the uh, stars and the sun and the moon move of course above the face of the earth. It's just what it does. So I, I'm not thinking that the Prince Pier is, or the Cherry Grove Pier will get taken out by this. However, if it if it was a oh ten feet higher, yeah, that would be very possible. There's somebody up on the pier right now. That could be a staff member monitoring the the pier itself. I wouldn't think they have it open right now. Not with this going on. So we've got um, high winds. Um, now feels like uh, probably close to 40 miles an hour. The sand just really gets into so much out there. I'm going to stay inside here for a while and uh, just show you this. And comment on it, on it a bit. The change of the name of my YouTube channel was largely to get further reach. Ooh, sea foam is coming in. Kind of interesting. 